Hello viewers, uh, this is Nobat again and today I want to show you how to spray your gods and why you need to spray. And this is what uh, we would like to focus on mostly today. So oh, what we call the knapshack sprayers. These are the ones that uh, um, you carry behind you like a bag and then you, you know, you, you pump and spray. And so why what... are we foc focusing on uh, hand spraying? It's because... Uh, it's the most popular among millions of farmers in less developed countries. And the cheapest way of applying parasiticides on uh, your livestock, if you compare to other ways of spraying uh, your goats. Um, if you have a few dozens of, uh, of, of goats, maybe you have uh, a few hundreds of goats, it is uh, the most uh, advisable and most farmers with, with uh, that volume of goats prefer to use it in uh, uh, most farms across uh, the here yeah, the only one. investment you need is buying the hand sprayer or the knapshack sprayer and uh, putting in your personal work in attention to the parts that you need to spray how much time you need to spend on uh, each goat and uh, the, the kind of uh, the, the, the level of wetness that the goat should be by the time you finish uh, spraying okay let's go So first, make sure that your pump is filled up to the recommended level and that the mixture that you have uh, in your pump is the right mixture. And then uh, as you spray, make sure that each and every goat is given sufficient time and uh, uh, has gotten all its important body parts sprayed. So make sure you give at least two to three minutes for each goat and watch out for parts such as the ears and, uh, and inside the ears. The legs, look out for, for the hooves. Why is it important to spray your goats? Uh, you realize that uh, for most farms, uh, Ticks come so fast to uh, infest your goats. Uh, there are uh, vectors and parasites like sesame fly that attack your goats. And the spraying of goats kills parasites. And when we talk about parasites, we are referring to um, to vectors like uh, sesame flies, fleas, mites that may come to uh, feed. So these vectors transmit diseases uh, in livestock. Uh, the most common, of course, is sesame flies. Sesame flies uh, that cause nagana in goats. Of course, uh, ticks, fleas are also very, very dangerous in spreading diseases among your uh, goats. But when you spray your goats, you protect them against this, and those that are already uh, are being feasted on by these vectors or parasites, you know, are killed, and the, 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 the goats get a chance to, you know, to have a clear and clean skin. Make sure that uh, you give each animal sufficient time while treating them. And you should ensure that uh, as you spray, the whole body is completely wet before you move to the next animal. Uh, ensure that areas such as the udders, the belly, below the tail, in between the hooves, under the ears, are very well treated and targeted. Because those are the parts that uh, that uh, parasites like so much. So theoretically, uh, between two to five liters, depending on the size and, uh, and, the, and the level of infestation the animal has, should be sufficient. You need to be disciplined enough to give each animal a considerable effort, you know, as, uh, as you give the treatment. Otherwise, you can easily do it wrongly and either uh, give insufficient amount of, uh, of, of the liquid or you overspray. So you'd rather overspray than give less treatment uh, for each of the animals that you spray. Uh, so you may spray your goats as a group. So if you see like in this video, we are spraying them in, uh, in their house. So you, you, can, you can decide to spray them in an enclosed place 
in their house or you can do it uh, uh, you know in a, in a long race where like they, they pass through a certain spot and you, you know you spray them as they go through and, and if you decide to use that me method you will notice that each animal will not get the same amount of, uh, of, of, the, of the parasiticide because some of them are a bit stubborn to spray and then they, they escape quickly um, so usually, um, even if even if you want to do it right, you notice that you can easily get tired because you 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 know you're carrying a heavy load behind your back. So obviously, some of them won't you know get the get won't get the, the, the enough treatment, especially the ones that come last. You notice that you spend more time on the first ones than the ones that uh, you spray last. However. Please make sure that each animal you spray gets at least a, a reasonable amount of treatment. Because if you don't, the, you, you stand the risk of your animals developing resistant strains of parasites in your farm. And if that happens, you find it very, very difficult to manage parasites. And so that is how you do it. And uh, if you do this correctly, you'll have very healthy goats with nice looking and glittering skin and very healthy. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this helpful. Bye.